The Old Knight battled with Zezima for years for RuneScape's rank 1 spot, until his unfortunate passing in 2006. Rumors that he was still alive were soon spread like wildfire among the community, and even more shocking was seeing him log in again three years later. Today, you'll find out why. Now, not much is actually known about the Old Knight's early history, but there's enough of it for you to see why he became one of RuneScape's most loved players. He discovered the game pretty soon after it had been released. Although no exact date is known, he played enough of it that by September of 2002, he was already rank 5 on the high scores. As he kept playing RuneScape, he would continue to rise the ranks, until eventually he hit rank 2. When the rank 1 player at the time, TKS, quit, it seemed that the old knight would have no problem taking over as king of the high scores. But he had some pretty big competition, and that competition was inside his own walls. RuneScape wasn't just a fun hobby that the old knight kept to himself. It had become a family affair. Another player in the top five named Flubber12 wasn't any ordinary rival. She was actually the old knight's sister. The old knight would reach rank one sometime in mid 2003, but he would trade places with his sister and other contenders over the next few months before losing it forever. However, over the next almost four years, he wouldn't drop out of the top five at all, aside from temporarily whenever new skills release. Now, being such a long-time high-ranking player with an honestly just badass username, he would get a lot of attention. Pretty much everywhere he went, someone would recognize him and try to start up a conversation. Now, you couldn't really blame him for just ignoring them, right? It would be exhausting to have to reply to hundreds of messages while trying to play the game at the same time. Well, the old knight didn't do that. He would actually take the time to have a conversation with anyone who wanted to. He wouldn't just make small talk either. He'd give them genuine advice on what to do in the game, and even used his levels to smith or craft items for them if they didn't have the requirements. The best part is, this wasn't an isolated incident either. There are legitimately hundreds of stories exactly like that all over the internet, and I'm sure the comments will be full of them too. The Old Knight never really accomplished anything that crazy in RuneScape that made him rise to fame. He was just pretty good at the game, was a good guy, and that's why everyone loved him. Well, almost everyone. But I know you'll love today's sponsor, Factor. Unlike other meal delivery services, Factor meals are super easy. Every meal is prepared by a chef, shipped straight to your door, and all you have to do is put it in the microwave. Two minutes later, you have a delicious and healthy meal. Cooking can kind of feel like a chore, especially when the boys are waiting for you to hop on Discord, and takeout food always arrives cold anyway. With no prep time needed and no mess, I think that Factor is the better choice. Not to mention, all of Factor's meals are never frozen and you can truly taste the difference. Like it is actually night and day compared to grocery store frozen meals. Even if you have dietary restrictions, you'll find stuff you like. Factor has plans like vegan, vegetarian, keto, and low calorie. With 27 plus meal options each week, there's something for everyone. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code pogcolinellonove 50 for 50% off your first box. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. Over the next few years, the old knight would continue to grow in XP and popularity. We would soon learn that he wasn't like many other top ranking players. He didn't commit his entire life to the game. He was actually a 45 year old with a full time job, a wife, and kids. Much like with his sister, his wife and kids would soon take an interest in the game too, but not on the same level. At the start of 2006, the old knight was nearing a pretty incredible goal, getting level 99 in every skill in the game. Nobody had ever done it before, and the only player closer than him was Zezima, but then he received some pretty troubling news. After a visit to the doctor, he learned that he actually had bowel cancer, and it was pretty serious. 
He'd begin treatment for it soon after, but didn't tell people in the RuneScape community. Regardless, he would continue pushing towards maxing out his character whenever he had the time. Although Zezima would beat him to it and retain his rank 1 status, the Old Knight would soon follow with rank 2. Some of his friends decided to host a party congratulating him on the massive achievement. They chatted in Draenor for a while, and the Old Knight would tell everyone how much all his friends meant to him, and that he couldn't have done it without them. Them. After this, the party would move to the duel arena for a few fun duels before he had to go. For many of his friends, this would be the last time that they would ever speak to him. Over the next few weeks, he would slowly gain XP here and there, but it was significantly less than before, and on April 3rd, 2006, he would stop gaining experience entirely. Days would go by, then weeks, then a month. The cancer treatment wasn't working, and he had become too weak to play anymore. About a month and a half after he stopped gaining XP, on May 26, 2006, he would tragically pass away at the age of 46. His sister would soon notify some friends of his passing, and the news quickly rippled throughout the community. The outpouring of support was absolutely insane. Over the next few weeks, players would host funerals in-game, upload hundreds of videos in his honor, and share stories of their encounters with him. I think the most powerful quote I came across was, it wasn't what the old knight said that I remember, it was always how he said it. He was a true gentleman. Zezima even reached out to the old knight's wife and son and kept in consistent communication with them over the next few years. Meanwhile, most of Jagex actually had no idea what was going on. They weren't as connected to the player base as they are today. They didn't find out about his passing until Mod Matt K noticed something pretty odd. Someone had been sending account recovery requests for the Old Knight's account. High-ranking players get recovery requests sent in about their accounts all the time. It's usually just random players hoping they know just enough about someone to steal their account. It's pretty unlikely that someone who spends enough time to be on the front page of the high scores would lose their password, so they're pretty much all denied. But something about these requests was different. They were accurate incredibly accurate. So much so that they had actually been granted. Once staff began investigating, they saw that all of the items on his account were flying off to other accounts all over the world. It was to the point where it got so confusing that they had to draw up a map of all the connected accounts that had been given items. They had no idea what was going on, and soon got in contact with the Old Knight's wife through the in-game message system to try and get some clarity. They soon learned about his passing, but that's not what shocked them the most. The Old Knight had actually included his RuneScape items in his will, and all the items being sent off the last few days were his family fulfilling his last wishes. Now, this is a pretty big gray area for Jagex. Doing this technically breaks a number of the game's rules, and it's certainly something that upper management at the time wouldn't be happy about. So, Matt and the rest of the team that were involved just turned a blind eye. They didn't care if someone from upper management would get upset with them. They knew they were doing the right thing. They waited for all the logins and trades to stop again, and then quietly locked his account. Now, soon after the community learned about the Old Knight's passing, the rumor that he had faked his death soon spread like wildfire. A solid portion of the player base was actually convinced that he was still alive and had just made it all up himself for attention. Scrolling through old posts from back then, it's insane the lengths that some people would go to with it. It wasn't just random players claiming that they knew him and he was hiding in Argentina or something. It was much worse. So let's start with the least unhinged one. Someone did the classic logging into a private server going, look at me, I'm the old knight, and then showing a bank worth more real money than the entire American economy. So that one got debunked pretty quickly but some especially cruel players were much more convincing with their lies. A player named Lord Gideon would upload faked screenshots of him talking to the Old Knight through private messages. In them, the Old Knight says that he retired from RuneScape because his wife had a baby, and honestly, the screenshots look kinda convincing. As a kid, I probably would have been tricked by these, like many other players soon would be. Over the next few years, the rumors never went away. In fact, they only got worse. 
Then something kind of insane happened. A video was uploaded to YouTube titled I'm Alive, The Old Knight in July of 2009. In the video, someone attempts to log into The Old Knight's account. They use the wrong password a few times to show what the message would be if it was wrong and they didn't actually have the password, but then they put in the correct one. They can't fully log in because the account was locked all those years ago, but whoever they were had The Old Knight's real password. In the video's description, they said that they were the real old knight and all the rumors of his death were wrong. He had just gone to serve the military in Iraq and now had memory loss, so he couldn't remember the proper details to unlock the account. This was unfortunately just another cruel lie. Someone not related to his family had actually managed to recover the old knight's account again and then leaked its password online. Over the next few weeks, hundreds of players would attempt to log into the account and even try and sell the details details, but luckily it remained locked. This might come as a bit of a shock, but the password that leaked back then actually still works. I tried it while researching, and my jaw kinda dropped when it actually let me do it. Regardless, the rumors that he's still alive continue even to this day, although luckily not as frequently as in the past but we have just one more rumor to dispel. After the Old Knight died, it was commonly believed that Jagex placed this statue in the wilderness to honor him. As cool as that would be, it's not true. The statue existed before his passing and appears to have been changed to a woman in RuneScape 3. Regardless, many players now treat this statue as a sort of memorial for him. But recently, Jagex actually wanted to give him a proper memorial and named this pub in Pharaoh's Enclave the Old night. So even though it's been almost two decades since his passing, I think I can speak for all of us when saying I'm glad to know that he'll never be forgotten. If you enjoyed this video, you should check out the one on the right that I did about Nova Life. He was another rank one player and probably could have been so forever before he disappeared. 